I'm very pleased that Novartis can host the seventh International BioCamp. You know, it's great to see all of the scientists, the young scientists come and learn about the biotech industry, and also to hear some of the great ideas that they have about the problems that the industry is facing, and also on innovation, how they can help us create some breakthrough innovation. We bring biologists, uh, people from medicine, and people from business administration, but also people um, with in, uh, information technology skills. So that's one of the, the themes this year, is digital technology and how we can change the way that we deliver better medicines faster uh, to patients around the world. The BioCamp initiative of Novartis is a wonderful opportunity to interact with the different students from different cultures, different backgrounds, and uh, to be able to experience this in Basel and the, the, in these headquarters, it's a unique opportunity. Organizers of the Biochem, they did a really well job to mix um, all the uh, students and um, doctoral students at their different stages and with their different backgrounds and nationalities to create really interesting teams uh, which come up with interesting solutions. We believe that this diversity of backgrounds and personal life experiences holds tremendous value when it comes to addressing some difficult questions such as the value of innovation or how to ensure access to healthcare for all in need. I was amazed by the maturity of the people joining the event. Um, they are extremely good scientists. Um, they understand a lot about what they're doing, but also uh, they, are, they have a quite good understanding of the pharmaceutical industry. This batch of students are incredibly enthusiastic. I've not seen a, a, a group that is so engaged uh, as I saw today. Uh, virtually every single one of them had multiple questions to ask all of us. It's my first year being a mentor and I'm really, really inspired by these fantastic individuals. What was really interesting, they started off as a group of individuals and what impressed me most was how they developed as collaborators working together and uh, it's been inspiring. I'm very committed to the global health and I see the Novartis, not just the drug maker, but you know, committing to the making better for the world. So I really want to join this, uh, this, this uh, momentum and be, be a player. So I'm, I'm, you know, this made me new motivation for my future career and for my future study. It was really great because I met a lot of students from everywhere and what was surprising for me was mostly about the speakers because they were really high level people and uh, they were giving really inspirational talks and um, these talks were really high quality. The case study is quite interesting and challenging. Um, the main theme is neurosciences. We are supposed to find uh, a digital device that would um, help out uh, physicians or healthcare practitioners in general, nurses as well, to fill up some uh, neurological scores in, in a more accurate way. In the beginning, actually, I think like all of us, they had like a lot of ideas and they were just putting into the discussion. But with time, we really found actually our position, every one of us. So there was um, actually someone from more from the business part, someone from the science part. So everyone had actually their own task. And this worked really, really well with time. And actually, we had really nice um, group dynamic. The biggest challenge will be to understand how we can merge the pharmaceutical industry thinking around how to develop such a device together with the innovative thinking that you see in the areas of technology. So it will be very exciting to see how the students will develop a plan around collaboration with external partners in order to see how this can be done. It's not just a cliché that they change people's lives, but they actually do it from what they've told us. And it's, it's an incredible um, opportunity for us to see how it really works. I would say my key takeaway is definitely going to be all the memories that I have gotten sharing with the people from my group, how we were able to bond, uh, as well as all the information that we got from the multiple speakers that actually took the time out of their day to actually talk to us students and inspire our careers.
These people will be the future scientists of the industry. They will be the future people working in regulatory and the healthcare systems, which also we need to convey to them how it is important our mission and how we are contributing to the healthcare industry worldwide. The power of mobile and cloud computing, public cloud, to transform the way in which we engage with patients, we make healthcare more productive, we really get insights from vast amount of data is going to give them the key to become successful in transforming healthcare towards the future. So I think the next couple of years we'll see huge changes and everybody who wants to shape it should now step into digital health. One of the things that we hope the students take away is, first of all, a new network, a support network as they're thinking about entering life sciences, but also to come away with ideas because, you know, innovation starts with ideas and we think that's one of the benefits of Biochem. As Biochem comes to a close today, it's a sad time because we're going to have to say goodbye to the students. It was amazing to see them over three days. They started as individuals and have grown to real teams in their group and to a real class, all 60 of them. It was a wonderful experience to follow that process and it's really sad to see them leaving today. Keep your balance, don't go too fast, and have fun. And so if you remember those three things, along with leaving that open space for yourselves, you guys are gonna be the most innovative, creative people. Whether you're part of this family, your family, wherever you end up in life and whatever you choose to do in life, you'll be creative and you'll continue to grow and be challenged.